The robot Easter egg in Red Dead Redemption 2 is very elaborate and requires a bunch of steps to finally meet in person. First things first, you'll have to reach Chapter 4 in the main story and complete the mission, The Joys of Civilization. Once you've done that, you'll be able to meet with a stranger named Marco Dragic in this park here in St. Denis. You can follow the waypoint I've marked on the map here in the video. Marco will only be at the park between 6am and 6pm. Once you find him, you'll kick off his first stranger mission. The mission itself is easy enough and pretty damn fun considering the unique setting of Red Dead Redemption 2. What are you, some kind of a European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice. Once you've completed that mission, you're going to need to take a cross-country trek to Marco's lab in Dover Hill, which is literally at the opposite end of the map relative to St. Denis in the northeast. I've marked a waypoint where Marco's lab is specifically, so jump on a train or stagecoach taxi, take that ride to Annisburg, and then head north. The second Marco Dragic Stranger mission can only be triggered after waiting 24 in-game hours from completing the first one, so if you haven't passed that much time, set up a camp around the lab and sleep until you've hit 24 hours later. There's also another requirement for this mission to start, there needs to be an active thunderstorm. So you could keep sleeping in your camp and hoping by the time you wake up a storm begins or just run around and pass some time until a storm starts. Once it does, the Marco Dragic mission marker will appear and you can begin the second mission. Like the first one, this one is fairly straightforward as well. I won't get into specifics so you could experience it for yourself. After completing the mission, you need to follow up with Marco at his lab 48 in-game hours later. So again, skip forward in time using the camp and sleeping, and go visit the lab and see what Marco has to say. He has a shocking revelation, and it's at this point that you acquire the electric lantern for your inventory. It's also at this point that we could finally go out and find that robot. But once again, we're going to have to take a cross-country trek all the way to the mountains in the northwest, close to where the beginning of the game took place. If you want to find him on your own, wait until nighttime and take out that electric lantern. If it glows orange, then you're heading in the robot's direction. After a long time exploring, I finally managed to find him, and here you can see the waypoint for the exact location of the robot. And here he is, a robot in 1899 in Red Dead Redemption 2. Only Rockstar could be this weird to require such odd steps be taken to finally reach this easter egg. It's a pretty awesome easter egg though. So that's about it for today. If you want to see more daily Red Dead Redemption 2 secrets, easter eggs, guides, tricks and more, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because I have a ton in the works as I continue to make my way through the game towards 100% completion. Thanks so much for watching everyone and take care.